We've got two ambulances. We've got a brush truck. I have a lot of information to share with you. Make sure you do have a raffle ticket. Everybody in line needs a raffle ticket once we go to spin the wheel. Like I said, everybody's going to get to walk away with something. A deck of cards. Hopefully you get a t-shirt because we love to see you all in our t-shirts. Come on in. I'll tell you all about the brush truck right behind me. You're excited, aren't you, Robert? Woo, you just had lunch. You can, yeah. Shannon's coming right around. If you just hand your, put your hands up in there just so she knows that you sure do care about that raffle ticket. And uh, we'll get started. For all of you walking around in the audience out there, come on over, or in the aisles, come on over, grab a raffle ticket. That gets you a chance to win a prize. Also, I want to make sure all of you guys get scanned. That gets you a drawing to win $100. But you don't have to be present to win. We just use the information that was scanned in your badge to mail you the money. You can tell all your friends are that cool that you won a hundred dollars in after I see when you go back home. I'm charging. And if you're good at spending, go ahead and spend it. If you're not, just save it. Use it on the Ford truck at some point, right? Why not? All right, guys. Well, welcome one more time for 2017 at FDIC, and welcome to Ford, home of the F Series, the best-selling line of trucks in America for the last 40 years. And thank you, a big thank you to all of you for helping us to reach that important leadership milestone. And you know, I think you'd agree that one of the reasons you've kept us in that number one spot was because we've continued to develop our commercial vehicles to meet your changing needs. And behind me right here is a perfect example of that. Now, this particular restaurant truck, though, is a concept vehicle, which means it's not quite available to the general market just yet. But at its base, guys, at its base, you have a 2017 Ford Super Duty chassis cab. All new from the ground up, the 2017 offers a best-in-class payload and towing, and it's the toughest, the smartest, and the capable Super Duty than ever before. So I want to just jump right in. Here's why it's the toughest. Well, the new Super Duty truck body is constructed of a high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy for improved capability and dent and ding resistance. John, did you get that? I'm just calling you out here on your phone. Are you testing all that information out? That was really nice. Thanks. All right, big guy. All right, well, guys, besides improving the body's durability, it makes the truck a lot lighter. So Ford reinvested that weight savings where it really counts, and that's in the frame. The new frame is made of 95% high-grade steel, and it's up to eight times stiffer than the previous generation. Now look at this, you're gonna love it. The all-new 2017 Super Duty has been put through 12 million miles of built for tough testing. So simply put, it's designed to meet or exceed your most demand demanding applications. That's a tough truck. All right, well next up, smartest. The Super Duty chassis cab offers the latest in driver aid technologies, making your driving experience safer and more efficient. So look up here. We have just a few examples of smart safety related options that are available. And keep in mind, all of them are class exclusives. So first up, we have a new programmable upfitter interface module that allows you to develop smart logic controls, giving you more confidence in controlling your updates. Next, we have a 110 volt, 440 watt power outlet. That's conveniently located uh, right there in the deck of the cab. And we have LED side mirror spotlights and security approach lamps. And then last but not least, we have Sync 3, allowing customers to stay connected while driving, including hands-free connectivity, optional voice activated, <laughs> you're on, optional voice activated navigation, Sync app link, and Sync 911 assist. Now the all new Super Duty, it's the toughest, it's the smartest, and it's the most capable. Boasting a busted class 7,500 pound gross front axle weight rating and a 40,000 pound gross combined weight rating in the F550. The new Super Duty is designed to carry more, tow more, and deliver the most combined horsepower and torque than ever before. So check up here. You'll have a choice of three engines, starting with the uh, 6.7 liter power stroke V8 turbo diesel. Next up, we have a 6.2 liter flex fuel V8 gasoline engine. And last but not least, we have the powerful 6.8 liter Triton V10 gasoline engine. Now, all of the engines are paired with the six-speed torque shift automatic transmission with select shift capability. Also, this transmission is available with an optional power takeoff port 
and it offers both stationary mode and leg drive capabilities featuring mobile mode. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, well, I've just covered the new F550 Super Duty chassis cab today, right? But Ford makes a full line of commercial vehicles. Something else might also be right for your fleet. So definitely take time today and look at the other examples we have in the booth today. We have the Braun Ambulance over here built on the F450 chassis cab. And then right over here on the opposing side, we have a great example of an ambulance conversion on Ford's transit cargo van uh, done by Medix. And that's just a small sampling of Ford commercial vehicles that play a role in the fire rescue industry. This leads me in my next brain bender for the day. All right, John, help me out again. Which Ford, how do you know which Ford would be right for you? He said, ask Peter. How did you know? You're the best audience member. I love it. Guys, this is Peter. We stashed him in the audience today, and he is a certified truck expert, right? He has a plaque at his office, a certified truck expert. He knows so much about trucks. Peter, can you help us figure out which truck is right for these folks? Let's, let's thank Cheryl for her enthusiasm. Thank you very much. You know, this is serious business. How much do trucks cost now? Commercial vehicles. Go ahead, guess. What's an average cost for a 550, you know, just with a gasoline engine? 50, 75, not quite that much, but a significant amount of money. Thank you, sir. The deal is, I want you to think, the commercial vehicle centers are specially trained Ford dealerships. They are very, very concerned with getting you the right truck for the job you do. That's why they call it commercial. So they think about the money you're going to spend as an investment. Let me show you what they do. The big question out there right now for most people is, do I need a diesel engine or can I do it with a gasoline engine? Would you, would you agree with that? Okay, let's figure it out. I'm going to start really, really basically. Here's my F550. It has a gasoline engine. It's sitting there. There's no body on it. Right now, at the GWI, you put 9,500 pounds on it. That's the easy part. Here's the tough part. This factor up here, right there, this is the software they use. They see that 26.1 startability. That's the amount of work the truck can do. That's the only way I can describe it. So I want you to imagine that truck fully loaded, parked on an incline like this. It has enough power to get started on a pretty steep incline with that gasoline engine, it's perfectly fine. But most of our vehicles, most of our commercial vehicles, pull trailers. Let's throw a trailer on here and see what happens. Once we do that, first of all, because of the tongue weight of the trailer, the available payload is going to go down. More importantly up here, suddenly this angle that it can start on goes down to here. And you know what? That ain't enough. That is not enough. I cannot get that job done on a regular basis with a gasoline engine. I have to go to a diesel engine. That is an $8,000 investment. But if you don't make the investment, you're going to break that truck within a year and a half. It's going to be worthless to you. You've thrown your money away. You put a diesel engine in here. Once you do that, I'm up at 20 miles an hour. That's what I want to be. I've been stuck in the mirror for a long time. It's going to get this gap in. I'm going to get that. It's going to be an investment. It's going to be an I'm going to use three. 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 I'm going